is no um, relationship uh, uh, for light with the darkness. So that clear distinction is that sword, that, that is the sword rope which holds a division. And there we can't have a peace. But in, in Christ, there is peace. Because that is what he came to build. The Quran right? says, Peace be upon Jesus, the day he was born, the day um, he shall die, and the day he shall rise again. The Quran says that Jesus was a man of peace. The Quran says that he, God made him dutiful to his mother are not overbearing or miserable. Um, the Quran says that um, Jesus was blessed wherever, wherever he went. But um, in the Bible, it does present Jesus in negative tones in relation to his mother. Because when his mother is looking for him, he says, who is my mother? Who is my brothers and sisters? Whoever does the will of God is my mother or, or is my brother and sister. Um, and he calls his mother woman. What have I to do with you? Like, you know, when he changes water into wine, yeah. So his mother asked him to do a miracle and so he in, says, in my culture, woman, yeah, yeah, yeah. my time is gone. I would call any uh, woman as uh, Amma, which is the same term. That means mom, yeah, mother. mother. But so you wouldn't call your mom woman. Yeah, so it is the same thing. It's equating mom and uh, any other woman. I mean, if I could my mom woman, I mean, my, my father would have word with me. So, so what I'm telling you is... Jesus so in that priority. way, the Quran glorifies Jesus. No, no. So uh, that, that's so, why I don't like it when, because, uh, when people say, uh, Jesus, peace be upon him. What peace be upon him? There's peace, peace, it's it's greeting of peace. Because Jesus he needs to greet. Highest, <laughs> highest authority of peace. Like he's the highest in living peace. So, so... The Bible that's doesn't say that, say that's the thing. Because Jesus says the head of, uh, uh, like Paul says the head of every man is a husband and the head of every man is Christ and the head of Christ is God. So how can Jesus be the higher authority of giving peace because when the Father is over? Because all authority which God has, all authority has been given to Christ. So that means that there was a time in which Jesus didn't have all authority. So it was given to him. So the, the one who gives him all that authority Authority on, is greater. He, yeah, when he was on earth, because he was born as a human baby, mm. he had to be born and follow the natural laws of the human baby. And that is why uh, the wisdom of God uh, had to be constrained. In After his... Jesus is resurrected from the dead, he still has the God over him. So he says to Mary Magdalene, I go to my God and to your God. And Paul says the head of Christ is God. So Jesus still has the God over him even after he's exalted. Um, it says in John 20, 17, right? He uh, says, I'm going to my God and your God. Yeah. yeah. But, but all authority which God has, which Jesus has. Can God have a God? So Not really. The glory and the glory. Um, so Jesus prays for the glory. Because right? you know, James and John, they ask Jesus to sit in his kingdom right and left. And Jesus says, I do not have authority to give that to you. But the Father has that. So Jesus doesn't have all authority yeah, to decide so, so, who sits on his right and left. So, so uh, what uh, the disciples are saying, uh, they are saying in the context of what they are saying, mm. but Jesus uh, ascribes that authority to the Father because he is seeing bigger things than what the disciples think, and that is why he's pointing to the Father. Yeah, but the point being is he says he doesn't have all authority in that context, in that verse. So, so it's in Matthew 15, I believe, um, the two sons or the mother of, of James and John approaches uh, Christ and makes a request. Yeah. And so, Jesus says, I do not have that authority. So, 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 for example, if the king has come here as a common man, mm -hmm. and if he's standing amongst us, and uh, you are asking him to do uh, certain things as with his power, what he would do is he would not uh, take 
that power as a king because he is here as a common man. But we, when he is on the throne, when he is in that rightful seat of power, then he has the authority. So what yeah. he would tell you is, um, you know, I, because I am a common person here, it's the, under the king's prerogative to do whatever you are asking. But it's not in my authority. So there, within that context, yeah. the disciples are asking when Jesus is in that kinship, so when he enters into that final glory, yeah. in that context they're asking him, yeah. can you sit us on it? And he says, I do not have that authority. When he's after he's now been resurrected or exalted. You see that judgment is given to Jesus Christ anyway after that. Right? But he still doesn't have the authority to decide who sits on his right and left, even if he's been given judgment. But if you, if you see um, what authority Christ is giving his church is to be seated with him in the heavenly places. So not as individual persons here, but collectively as the one church which Jesus is building, against which the hell will not prevail. That one church will be the bride of Christ who will reign with him from the heavens, from his throne. So, so that church is what uh, Jesus is building. That is what I'm calling well, the, you. the church is because like a new Israel. So in, in the Isaiah, Israel, in chapter 49, verse 12, I believe, okay. uh, Israel is worshipped by the other nations. And the book of Revelation presents in, uh, the, the Christians as being the new Israel whom the church of Satan or the synagogue of Satan will worship. So in Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. But that doesn't make them God. Um, just like the disciples are given judgment to judge the 12 tribes of Israel, they don't make them God. But what, what judgment comes, when it comes, we know it is true. So it is not like when judgment comes, uh, uh, you will say, oh, this person judged, that is why this person got, um, you know, heaven or hell or whatever kind of reward. It's not that. It's a judgment of God which is coming right? So the Acts 17 say that God will judge the world but through this man, Jesus. So it's still God, but Jesus is God's subject. Why? Because he is the word servant. of God revealed. And by the word of God that is revealed, by that the people will be charged. Yeah, and that is so revealed in Jesus Christ. He revealed. That's, that's why I am asking you, he is not going to, Jesus is not going to judge by the you, you know the, Jesus yeah. is going to judge. In the Quran, he's referred to as the word of God, a word from him. What? In chapter 4, verse 171 of the Quran, it says a word from him. A word from him. Like it says, old people of the book, do not go to extremes in your religion and do not say anything about God except the truth. Jesus, son of Mary, was no more than a messenger of God, um, a spirit and a word from him. Uh, and do not say free, um, for your God is one God. Okay, what I'm saying so he was created by the word of God. Yeah. So in that sense, he's the word of God, because God created him by his word. Just like he created the heavens and the earth. No, no. God didn't create Jesus by his word. It was through the word of God, which is Jesus, that anything that was created, was created through Jesus, for him. That's not what the Bible says That's in what terms... Anything that was created, that was created for him and by him. Because when Jesus speaks of Genesis creation of man and woman, he says God made them uh, one flesh or made them male and female. It doesn't say I made them male and female or we made them. He says God or he made them male and female. Yeah. So he's because not... In his human nature, he was always, also, always referring to the Godhead. So, but he's speaking about the past. He's not speaking about the present. Yeah. So if he's speaking about the present, I understand what you're saying. But since he's speaking about Genesis, there he's attributing creation not to himself but to God. But all things were created for him and through him. Yeah, so that's in like in First Corinthians, uh, but that's in reference to the the new heavens and new earth, because it's speaking.
speaks about kingship, dominions and thrones. So it's speaking about the future heaven and earth. It's not speaking about Genesis. It's not speaking about Adam or Eve or the trees or the animals um, or the seven day creation. But it's speaking about the new heavens because it says thrones, dominions. When you're, when you're mentioning that Jesus is referring back to the Genesis, creation, yeah. Um, and it's a commandment which is given to the Israel that they can divorce their wife. But Jesus points and says, but I say, in the beginning, when God created male and female, they created yeah, the exactly, one. Yeah. So there, there itself, Jesus demonstrates his authority over the commandments which God himself made. That itself demonstrates the, demonstrates the divinity no, of Jesus but, but there he's not claiming to be creator or co-creator. He's saying that God made the male and female. So he's been like the interpreter. He's been like the Moses. No, but the new least, Moses. But at um, least you acknowledge that he is um, saying that his word is greater than the commandment which God himself gave. Because he says in John chapter 12 verse 49, no, the father who sent me, <laughs> he had given me that. a commandment of what I should say and what I should speak. So the God, God is commanding or telling him what to speak or what to say. So, so that itself, Jesus claims to be better than the commandment itself which was spoken to Moses by God himself. No, it's that more... itself demonstrates the divinity of Jesus Christ, the authority of Jesus Christ over and above what God gave Well, he Moses. says my judgment is just because I seek not my will but the will of him who sent him, sent me. So he's not claiming to be his own will but he's doing it by the will of the one who yeah, sent that, him. That is the oneness Father, Son and Holy Spirit have. Well, he's, so where's the oneness? Because yeah. he says not my will, but his will. Yeah, Father, and even even Holy so Spirit. So where's the oneness? Because yeah. he has a different will to the will of the Father, no, that, but he that submits one, his will to that, the one who that's sent him. The oneness of the will they have. So I shouldn't say they. God has. So what's the oneness there? Because he has a different will to the Father. Yeah. Because so, he says, I seek not my never, will, but the will of him who sent me. Never was Jesus' will different from God the Father's will. Never was the Holy it, Spirit's it was. will. Never was Holy Spirit's will. So he says, will. take this cup away from me. No, he didn't Nevertheless, say this cup. He says that in Mark 13. No, um, if it is your will. Mark 14, yes. Yeah. But yet not my will, but thy will be done. It, it doesn't, yes, yeah, so it wasn't his will. Um, to, to, to die, but he says, your will be done. Yeah. So it's not his will, but the will of the one who sent him. Will he did not have authority so, in that sense. So, yeah. so Jesus He's submitted submitting, to yeah. the will of the Father. That makes more to God. Yeah. Why? Why there comes the oneness in the will. Can't you see the oneness in the will? Jesus is not going to do anything which is not in the will of the Father. Well, he says, Father, and take this cup away from me. But nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Yeah. That's heresy. So so not my will, but yeah, your will. But according to you, believe the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are co-equal, right? Yeah. So if they're co-equal, why does Jesus, the Father has to be, Jesus, the Father has to be greater than Jesus? Because Jesus in John 14, and John 14 says, my Father is greater than I. John 5.30 says, I cannot of my own do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, for I seek not my own will, but the one who sent me. So Jesus was sent. But you so earlier you said you believe in one you. God. But if you said Jesus have the authority and Jesus rely on the Father, the Father has the authority. So what is differentiated between you believe in two different powers? Only, so, or you believe in the Father. In the yes, sir. Yes. Or do you believe in Jesus? So there are several so, names of God in the Holy Scriptures. And one of them is Yahweh. So Yahweh God says, because Jesus humbled himself from the cross. Jesus humbled himself even to the point of that shameful death on the cross. And because Jesus humbled himself, God gave 
the name of Jesus. As a power, at which every knee in heaven or earth and under the earth will bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is God. For Why? the glory of God the Father. For the, for the glory of God the Father. Not God the Father and Son. Yeah. Yes. So, because for the glory of God the Father, that itself demonstrates that Jesus is lifted to the position of the Father Himself. It doesn't say to the Father Himself, but it's done so for the glory of God the Father. For the, what glorifies God the Father? The lifting up the, the name of Jesus, at which every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. That glorifies Father. Confesses so, that so Jesus that is Lord, says, but it doesn't say every knee shall bow to Jesus. Because Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2 that he bows daily to God the Father. To the Father he bows down daily. So, so the knees are bowing to the Father no. and confessing Jesus as Lord so, for the glory of God the Father. So, so that, that he says, uh, at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Not yeah. at the name of Yahweh, every knee will bow. But who is glorified here? God the Father is glorified. But at, at whose name? So Jesus' name is equivalent to that glorified um, uh, Father being glorified. Yes, yeah, so the glory is directed towards the Father. Is not directed towards Jesus. But kneeling comes uh, at the name of Jesus. Uh, yeah, at the name of Jesus, I bow down to the Father, to whom the glory is given. So, so what I like, see he's still a servant. Yeah, what, and when it says he humbled himself, it's in reference to Isaiah 53, verse 12, where he poured out his life even unto death on even, the cross. So, the cross. It, so humbling himself is like him pouring out his life yeah. to the crucifixion. That is on the earth. Yeah. Because and then God elevates, exalts him to an even higher position than what he previously didn't have. Yeah. If Jesus was already equal to God, then how can he become even higher? Because what could be uh, higher than being equal so, to God? Exalting the name of Jesus is glorifying God. Yeah. Exalting the name of Jesus. So that name. makes Jesus a prophet. Do you understand what so, you're saying? Yes, yeah, so the glory is going to the Father. Yes. So it's praising so Jesus. God, you're doing God it for God is the, the, name the glory of, of God the Father. Exalted. Even the Garden and of Gethsemane, I mean, Jesus bowed down. Who did he bow and prostrate? He, he gave us the life. He, so he, he, he died on the cross. So no, but no, Christians he, are not he, saying. Yeah, but saying. But God is so, immortal. No, he doesn't no, no, no. die. So, okay. so, 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 so early disciples. Do you agree what he said? God so, is mortal. So, like the book of Timothy if, chapter if I'm, if I'm a disciple, 1 Timothy okay. 6 16. 6 16. Do you agree what he said? If I'm thinking like you and if I was a disciple in Jesus' time, yeah. what I would claim is Jesus didn't die because we we see him as God. That's that's the that's a natural tendency no, of humans. Before we call me but to the die. disciples witnessed the death of Jesus no, Christ. Before we call me to die. Before well, we established no, no, no. that me, you, you believe in the let oneness me, God, let me complete, who will come into that. Yeah. So, the disciples, though they saw Jesus as God, they no, said he died. Yeah, but, they, they say but he Jesus did not claim by himself that he's God. Say, There's no way he says Muslims it said. in the whole Bible. They didn't say he Can escaped show us? from the cross. They didn't say he, yeah. he didn't die or something. No, no. They saw his death. They were witness to his death. They, were, they thought, oh God, we thought he is God and then uh, he is died and we are left they were in despair but the third day he rose again just as he has promised because Jesus said did, 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 did Jesus' his body decay how do I know because according to the, the book of Acts the disciples recite Psalm 16 and 16 says his body shall not see corruption so if he see died no in, corruption. yeah see no corruption so, so how can you die without seeing without your body becoming corrupt yes exactly. so it means uh, they didn't believe he died Body because they're referring to. Pieces. You, yeah. you know how many. But Psalm 16 got, says. Much, uh, read him, sir, Sam, read him. So, so you know Psalm, six, Psalm. Psalm 16 says his body shall not see corruption. Okay. Um, and this is quoted in the book of Acts okay. uh, in reference to Jesus. Even the sign as Jonah. Jonah did not die. Yeah, that's, that's the another, other one as well. I was going to comment to that. Because Jonah never dies in the fish's belly. It says, My life is ebbing away. But he doesn't die. He actually comes out alive yes. and Jesus says his son shall be the son of Jonah so, yeah. but Jesus says he, he would die and you're not acknowledging yeah. that come on so but how yeah. can God die according to Jesus was called yeah. 
Yeah, so if the sense. disciples were like you, they would have twisted the story and said he didn't die. Huh? No, no, that's... Hey, 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 hey. Uh, He's not touching. Therefore, my heart is glad. My soul shall rejoice. No, it's fine. Sister, sister so come here. Was, for you will not abandon me to show. Sorry, Auntie, sister. Come here, no problem. Yeah, so you, um, for you will not yeah. abandon me to Sheol, mm -hmm. to, to death, uh, nor let your faithful servant see the pit. Uh, you shall show me the path of life, um, abounding joy in your presence. So this is saying that Jesus so, never so that, died. See, that if this is about been Jesus, the natural tendency of disciples, if they should, you know, disciples should have like, said like what you are God, trying to say. God didn't abandon, abandon Jesus to, to Sheol or to death. Yes, uh, and even um, the um, one hundred. But you get my point, right? So, so the disciples are looking up to Jesus by God, and then they witness his death, that shame. Death. They, they believed so he escaped and there. Then, no, they didn't believe that. Because that's what Psalm 16 no, says. No, um, you should no. not abandon me to Sheol. No. And also so, um, Psalm 116 as well. Um, it, it's quoted in the. Um, yes, I told oh, you. I can't believe it. You're digging so, the hole for yourself. <laughs> no. No, we've got um, more references. Um, yes, sir. Yes, um, um, so disciples, they were to twist the story. They would have done it like you, like how you are doing. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, he didn't. Uh, nothing happened to him because he is God. That's what they should have done if they had twisted the story. But they witness his death. But do you know how many? That is why they acknowledge his death. How many? They say God saved me. How many? I was hopeless, but God saved me. Okay. Return my soul to your rest. The Lord has been good to you. Uh, for my soul has been freed from death. Uh, my eyes and my tears. So this is speaking about someone. Um, yeah, that is why we believe. Who doesn't die. That is why we believe that Jesus. Oh yeah, can I read death. it? This one is a hill. Yeah, what does it say? I was caught by the courts of death. The sinners of the church oh, has yeah, seized, me. seized me. I felt their agony. agony and dread. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Oh Lord, save Lord, my save life. My yeah. life yeah. Yeah. That is why Christians believe. The Lord, the God saved Jesus' life. No, no, we don't. <laughs> we don't think. <laughs> but that's what oh, yes, no. he says that actually. Jesus I was helpless, Jesus said, death. but God saved me. In so God his saved dying. Him. In his so dying on the cross. This is quoted in that the is, New Testament yeah, as a, as a prophecy or but fulfilled. He, in, even in his dying on the cross, we believe that Jesus overcame the sting of sin, which is death. No, but can God save Jesus? You, uh, do because you understand says, what I'm saying? Yeah, I do, but I'm saying we, the scripture no, 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 says you are not opposite listening. of you are what you are preaching. You are not listening told. to what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so, by the act of Jesus' death on the cross, Christians believe that Jesus overcame the sting of sin, which is death. Yes, but how come by but the dying? Does not say that. But how come by dying Jesus overcame death? So, but, but the scripture that says. That is what I'm telling you. Okay. When you're saying that he he did not so die, you're the holy one, the facts. A holy one shall not see corruption. Mm -hmm. Holy one there is in reference to the Messiah. Yeah. Um, Psalms uh, 16:10. Mm -hmm. um, so, Okay, so Hasid. So this is understood in reference to the Messiah. Um, the ho Holy One um, should not see corruption. So if Jesus died, it means his body decayed and became corrupt. So do you believe Jesus when he say he would die and then God he again? Jesus cannot die because according to you, you say Jesus was caught. So how can God die? God is so historically. So because the disciples followed Jesus and they were seeing him as a messiah, would say 
save all mankind. At the death of Jesus, they should have either rejected Jesus as Messiah, but that didn't happen. But when he rose again, they boldly proclaimed his death. They didn't say that he didn't die. Oh, he is God. He didn't die. He is Messiah. He cannot die. That's the natural tendency of human mind to twist facts and try to appear somebody as good. Well, if you look at because the Gospels, Jesus was, Jesus was challenged by the detractors to prove himself to be the Messiah by bringing himself down alive. And in the disciples' preaching, um, they quote passages from the Psalms, like Psalm 16, where it says, Your Holy One will not see corruption. Um, God will save him or rescue him um, in relation to the crucifixion. Yeah. So they believed that Jesus so, so, escaped death so, and was so there rescued. there was somebody who, who said, if you're son of God, come down. Yeah. By not doing that act, Jesus did not prove that he is not the son of God. But not Jesus son of God, but Messiah. submitted to the will of God and thus be exalted. You get, you get my point? So, 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 so somebody, some random guy says, if you are the son of God, come down from the cross, right? So Jesus been come down from the cross. So doesn't Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7 says during the days on earth Jesus supplicated to the one who was able to save him from death and God heard his prayer because of his fear of God or his reverence of God so, so, so it's in Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7 um, I can understand. He supplicated I, to the one who was able I, to save him from death. I understand that Jesus prayed. Jesus prayed because in heaven there was always oneness in the will of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And when Jesus is here on earth in flesh, he had to have that communication with the Father. No, but he and was. That was, and that he was. natural communication. In the days of his flesh, but, Jesus offered up prayers and supplication. With loud cries and tears to him, he was able to save him from death. And he was hurt because of his reverence. Yeah. So Jesus prayed to be saved from the cross. And God heard his prayer. That's not what it says. Yes. It says God that's heard. Not, no. so that's that's right. Right. Hearing doesn't mean yeah, that God is all hearing by, in this context it means God ac by, accepted his prayer by the act of Jesus death on the cross okay, so but that wasn't what Jesus prayed he he supplicated to the one who was able to save him so take but, this cup away but, from me but did Jesus say that he's going to die and come back to the third day alive yes he did according to John um, Jesus didn't prophesy his resurrection so, so uh, Yahweh in, God Yahweh God says I am the good shepherd I am the good shepherd so is and Jesus, the says, Jesus says I am the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep okay so at the death of Jesus Christ uh, yeah it doesn't mean he, Jesus so died Can it just means that he was willing to lay down his life but yeah. doesn't mean he actually died because God saved him or rescued him at the last moment because if you read in John chapter 20 himself to the shameless death on the cross and that is why God exalts him in the name of Jesus and the power and you know, by which every knee will bow and every yeah, so that, that's a sermon or hymn yeah. from the letters of Paul from, from Philippians, Philippians yeah. so Jesus himself says the sign of Jonah my son shall be the sign of Jonah for Jonah was in the world's belly, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. So, even so Jonah never died. Even if you acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of Man, you have to acknowledge the divinity of Jesus Christ. No. What even does, if you acknowledge Jesus Christ son of as man son of means God, man. Yeah. Yes. That's a divine title. It's a Hebrew title meaning um, son of Adam. So e e Ezekiel is called son of man. Divine Israel is called son of man. Yeah, the divine title. And Jesus speaks of another son of man to come after him. Yeah, son of man is a divine title. Yeah. Given.
and cheese and just come with his angels and judge the whole world, right? So even he doesn't if say he's the son of man Jesus or that son of man. God that destroys your Allah. Jesus is speaking about the future son of man to come. And he says, this generation whoever denies me, so shall the Son of Man when he comes, will, re will reject them. So he's not saying he is the Son of Man, but speaking about a lover Son of Man to come. So whoever rejects Jesus in that generation, so shall the Son of Man when he comes, will reject them as well. So it's in Mark chapter 8, where Jesus speaks about this Son of Man. And it also says, a man of proof of God, if God did by him, why you witness to it? Yeah, in, in the book of Acts. Acts, yeah. Yeah, 222. Yeah. But I'll show you where he prophesies the coming of the Son of Man. I mean, Mark. Um, it's in Mark chapter 8, uh, verse 40, I believe. Yeah, for uh, verse 38. Um, uh, Mark chapter 8, verse 38. For whoever is ashamed of me, and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him, uh, will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of the Father with the holy angels. So the Son of Man hadn't yet arrived, but when he comes, he will also be ashamed of those who rejected Jesus yeah. whilst Jesus so was on the earth. Jesus. No, no. That's what I'm telling you now. No, so even when this is the future Son of Man to come. Yeah. So we believe that was fulfilled by the Prophet Muhammad. No. Who, who no. came. Muhammad the crime was revealed through the medium of the angels. Well, he just said um, that Jesus was kind to his mother not and not overbearing or miserable. Sorry, what was that? What is that? What is the last well, thing which you said? Well, Jesus says in the Quran that God has made me kind to my mother or dutiful and not overbearing or miserable. So Jesus never curses his mother in the Quran. But the Quran, but he seems to be crude or no, rude no, towards no, her. No, no. Like, like, like he never calls her mother, so but like says, it's crude, who is but my we mother? Have to make a clear distinction and priority of doing the will of the Father. Doing the will of the Father was his priority. Even in the place where... But he uh, says to honour your father and mother. Yeah. Where Jesus, does he honour Mary in Jesus the Bible? Jesus always honoured Mary. And even at this... What do you have in mind? Even, as an even in this point of death on the cross. Because Mary is mentioned more times in the Quran than she is in the New Testament. Come so, on, that so, doesn't, so that doesn't the mean birth, anything. The birth of Jesus. The Bible, the chapter of Mary. And, and the Quran defends her chastity as well. And Jesus says in chapter 19, Surah Maryam, He says, He said, I'm only the messenger of your Lord to give you the news of a pure boy. So you, you agree that Jesus was sinless, right? He said the boy was He was pure. So, yeah. So we believe every child is born without sin. Uh, Muslims do not believe in the doctrine of original sin. Um, but we believe um, every human being is responsible for his or her action once they reach the age of discretion when they know the difference between right and wrong. And it's interesting in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, 15, and 16, it prophesizes about Emmanuel and it says before he reaches the age of discretion, before he knows the difference between good and evil, um, the enemies whom you fear will desert the land. So there it's not speaking about a God man or God becoming a baby, but it's speaking about a child uh, who will grow in knowledge and in wisdom and who will learn the difference between good and evil. Whereas there's no time in which God doesn't know the difference between right and wrong. God always knows the difference between good and evil. Okay. He doesn't grow up and then learn. So, yes. But in the Gospel of Luke, in Luke 2, 52, yeah, yeah, it says that Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature yeah, yeah, yeah. before the Lord. So he grew in knowledge. Yeah. So his knowledge yeah, increased. Right. Yeah, but he, he wasn't all-knowing yeah. or omniscient. So in another yeah. sense, yeah. Jesus was not good. The Bible doesn't yes. teach he's 100% God and 100% man yes. at the same time. But it says he grew okay. in stature before the Lord and in wisdom. Okay. So like in Luke chapter 2 verse 52. So, oh, okay. Okay. Right. Cool. so 
So, and it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, that the babe believed in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, if it is a spirit from exactly, God. Exactly, yeah. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Filled with the Holy Spirit. And I think even Barnabas was, uh, yeah. And she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is, is the fruit of your womb. Yeah, and why is it granted to me that the mother of my Lord Mother of my Lord should come to me. Why is it granted? Mother of my Lord should come to me. So there. Who speak in there? Is that Jesus? Elizabeth. Okay. Elizabeth. So Jesus never like calls his mother mother. Like he never praises Mary. But yeah, I accept that. That's a praise to Mary so given even. in the Gospel of Luke. But but it, it, Jesus himself doesn't seem to practice what he preaches when he says to honor your mother because. Yeah. Jesus himself, where does he... He always honored his mother. It, when but he had his mm. uh, clear distinction. When Jesus was in the temple and they were... And, uh, Jesus, uh, the family. Family, they were traveled looking for and him. they yeah. came. Uh, and I found said, him to be debating. Yeah. Yes. And then he had to say that I have to do my father's... I have to be about my father's business. But he Jesus also says... God's work as his priority. But he also and seems to imply that his mother doesn't do the will of God because when his mother is looking for him and he's told that his mother's outside waiting and he says, who is my mother? Who is my brother? He who does the will of God is my brother and sister. So it, it is, seems it to is, be it is not saying his mother any level. Okay. It is elevating the people of God who does God's will to the place of Jesus' mother and brother because they do the will of the Father. Because Jesus, for only purpose, according is according to the Bible, the will of his Father. Well, according to and Mark chapter 3, Mark, well, well, Mark 3 says that the family of Jesus thought Jesus was demon possessed. That he was uh, besides himself, which is a, an ancient standard meant if someone uh, was like besides himself, it w means that you believe they were like possessed by the devil. So how could the family of Jesus thought that Jesus was demon possessed? Yeah, later, if Mary was told by the by God yeah. that she would be the mother of the Messiah. So when when Mary, that's that's the that's a very good point. So when when so the, you know in Mark chapter the angel, three. When Do you the want the verse? Says, when the angel, no, 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 it's fine. I, I you know the one I'm talking saying. about. Okay. So when when uh, when the angel says to Mary, and be, and behold, you will con conceive in your womb and bring forth the son, and he shall call and uh, sorry, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And all of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be? So this is like like so much information condensed in a few words to Mary. And then Mary can only think, how can this be? But but think about these things. Jesus will be called the Son of the Highest. And Jesus, if you see Matthew, when the angel says to Joseph, uh, uh, Mary is with a son, and you shall call him Jesus, because he shall save his people from their sin. Right? So Jesus is there. Even before uh, Jesus was born, it was brought to say that he is the son of the highest. And he so, is so here how do you to understand? But then it says that after the Annunciation, after Jesus now grows up and in his 30s, Jesus begins his ministry, um, the, the, the family of Jesus yeah. hears about this and they say he is possessed. Yeah, so, so the or point he is out of his mind. Is, yeah, there, there was a so, lot of things prophesied to Mary and which she kept it in her heart. And she didn't go, go about saying to but Joseph, you know the you Quran know, you know what? in chapter uh, 66. You know what? I'm, I'm very pure. You better accept me. She didn't go about doing that. So, it was the angel who spoke to Joseph and asking her. And Mary only pondered everything in her heart. Not just she would go trumpeting around saying, you know, I'm a pure woman and you better listen to what I have to say. And 
my son is so and so. So the Quran, so this is what the Quran actually says about Mary. Uh, Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity. So we breathed into her of our inspiration and she accepted the truth of the words of her Lord and his books and she was of the obedient ones. So Mary never disbelieved. Uh, she believed in her son. Uh, she was told that she will be the mother of the Messiah yeah, and he she... will be honored in this life and in the next life so when... and in, in the company of the righteous and those that are close near to God. Yeah. So Mary never so... believed her son was demon possessed according to the Quran. Yeah, so... so the Quran is glorifying Mary uh, and her son by extension. But in the Bible, in Mark chapter 3, verse 21, it says that the family of Jesus, what Jesus was out of his mind or possessed. That is what the brothers thought. Like later, Joseph yeah. and Mary had sons and daughters. So where's and the rebuke from Mary or Joseph to say that no, we had, the, God told us through a, a dream or through revelation that so not Jesus every, is the Messiah. Not every boy would understand that. So, but what, what, what is there to not understand? So, Unless so, if you have some learning difficulty. No, 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 no. no. Um, why was Mary, otherwise, there's no reason not to understand that. Why was Mary able to accept the holy, holy child of God? Because she knew in the holy scriptures that it was prophesied that the virgin would give a birth to a son and he would redeem the world with their sins. That is why she was willing to uh, receive it. And that's why I said, Mary didn't go trumpeting around saying, I'm good, my son is good. You know what? My son is so and so. Right? Well, Mary never Mary, believed Mary, Jesus was God. But the Bible it seems to imply that the, she believed of, he was possessed. Son of the highest. Which the Quran rejects. Um, it clearly says, the, 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 you know, there was a disagreement between the disciples or the followers of Paul. So you're saying uh, and the uh, there were, there were Jesus, Jesus brothers said who, uh, who said that Jesus was beside himself. Well, according to Mark, Mark says that. Mark says, I, I don't believe they did the historically. <laughs> But Mark says that the relatives of Jesus so were those were Jesus disbelieving was. brothers of Jesus. I don't later, believe. Later believes, yeah. and when they preach the death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ, they are crucified. So between their childhood and the seeing the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, they believe that Jesus is God, and to that truth, they were willing to lay down their lives. These were the so, same people who. Jesus and said, but believe oh, it's subjective. Well, Mark's gospel himself. never says that they ever believed. Yes. Uh, Mark says that they all forsook him and fled. So yeah. Mark never later, says that they came the to. James, Mark, Mark does mention. James, the brother of Jesus, mm. he becomes a believer in Jesus Christ yeah. and uh, preaching the death and resurrection and he of. And becomes the head of the church. Yeah. One of the apostles. Yeah. Uh, who, who he seems to become the leader the or the pillar. Yeah. So, so, so you know, when in your childhood you believe something, and then you come to know the truth and to that truth James was willing to lay down his life and mm -hmm. that is the truth so which James, I am calling you to James, James never that believed that Jesus was God. <laughs> that was in his childhood. <laughs> and I, I don't believe the family of Jesus were ever disbelievers. But James, James becomes a believer of Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah, so by the very fact he becomes a believer, uh, the very fact that he becomes the head of Jerusalem shows that James was never a disbeliever in the first place. Because um, they, they had received direct you know, revelation, angel visitation. Uh, from God, um, that Jesus would be the Savior, He would be the Messiah. No, that is so there's no the reason. Birth of other brothers and sisters, right? Yeah. So, well, it, it, we don't actually know when they were born. Uh, James could no, have been, no, 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 no. could have been from. No, Mary was a virgin when Jesus was born. Yeah. So we know that Jesus is the firstborn was, child of Mary. Yeah. So, so other some, brothers and sisters would have definitely so Some come say later. Joseph was maybe previously married no. to, before he married. No. Why would that be? Oh, oh, well, ca Catholics no, in the Catholic no, tradition. No, 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 no Catholic would say that. No Catholic. Catholics believe in the perpetual no, virginity maybe, of maybe Mary. Muslims can, you know. No, 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 no. Ca Catholics believe Mary always remained a virgin. 
so, so, can, can, so they believe Joseph married, but the these were brothers and sisters word, from a previous marriage. But, yeah. uh, you you cannot Bob the builder. Like Catholics, they believe that Mary remained God a virgin. Not Catholic, but, but the word of God says but, but he later, does know, he, later, he does have some knowledge of the, the Catholic religion. So Later, you, uh, yeah. when Jesus was preaching, mm -hmm. people say, oh, who's he? He's so full of wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. We, he's just a carpenter's son and we know his brothers and sisters so they are, they are wondering at how that such wisdom come from a common person and that is what they are marveling at but they were not recognizing what Jesus said that's uh, so so that so uh, what I'm saying is the disciples if they would have elevated Jesus to the position of a hero and say oh we are followers of that. What they should have done is, when Jesus died, they would have twisted the story and said Jesus never died. But they acknowledge his death because they went on a hiding. They denied him. They went on a hiding and say, "What is this? He's died." And then, when they encountered the resurrected Christ, then they know that he spoke about his death and resurrection. Death doesn't always mean literal death in the Bible. Sometimes yes. it's used metaphorically. Yes. So, like in the book of Jonah. It's news to refer to Jonah metaphorically, even though Jonah was alive in the belly, but he refers to his situation in the world's belly as being like in the place of, that's of the I, dead. That's why I'm telling that by the death of Jesus Christ, death was destroyed. The sting of sin, which is death, was destroyed. So death has no longer still sin over us who believe, because we believe in resurrection. Death still happens. Death is just a gateway. Yeah to eternal life and yeah. death existed before the Adam even so like the, the, the animals the plants the yeah. birds there was already yeah, the this, dinosaurs for yeah, example but in this case they died before Adam Jesus did not die that is the point because Jonah did not die the, the Jesus died have twisted the story they didn't if, twist it but they, they say metaphorically they to, so it's like Isaac hero, but they are so, saying you know in Hebrew so you know Hebrews chapter 11 verse 19, it says Isaac died and rose again, even though he didn't physically die, but they speak about metaphorical death and metaphorical resurrection. So the disciples are speaking about metaphorically. Someone who escapes death is as if they have come back from the dead, even though they didn't literally or physically die. You can, you can say that argument, but what I'm saying is if disciples, you know, um, took Jesus yeah. to a point of their hero, then what they should have done is, you know, try and twist the story and say Jesus didn't die. That that should have been what they are, no, we're saying they should have done, like the Muslims that. are now doing. But yes, they didn't that. do that. But they, because they saw it in their, with their eyes, they experienced that. Because what Mark says, they all forsook him and fled. And then yeah. they discovered the tomb of Jesus to be empty. And then from that, they believed that God had raised him from the dead. Yes. So someone who's been raised from the dead can also mean someone who escaped death. So he's come back from the dead. So like in Isaac, so you know in the case of um, Isaac, in Hebrews chapter 11, so, so you, you, verse 19, yeah. it says, um, he reasoned that God uh, was able to raise even from the dead and he received Isaac yeah. back as a symbol. Yeah. So metaphorically, so why, Isaac. Why, uh, why Abraham was willing to give his son as a, a sacrifice? Yeah. It was because even if he was sacrificed and killed, he knew that God would raise him up from the dead. So he believed in resurrection. That yeah. is what the first evidence but, but uh, Isaac of escaped. the resurrection we see in Jesus Christ. But, uh, not that people were not made alive after their death, but, but the resurrection came from Isaac Jesus. almost died, but he escaped death. Yeah. So he died and rose again. Yeah. So just like Jesus, he escaped, he almost died. But we believe he escaped death and God raised him up.
Yeah. So metaphorically, the disciples say he came back alive or he escaped death because God resurrected him or raised him. Metaphoric, metaphorically. Deny the fact that Jesus said he would die. No, no, in the Quran it says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَا تَشُبِّعَ لَهُمْ They did not kill him or crucify him, but it appears so, as you mentioned, the people who saw it, it appeared to them that he was dead, but he did not die. So at the cross, Does that make sense? at the cross, Roman soldiers were given the uh, permission or uh, were given the task of putting Jesus to death. They didn't leave the job half done. They, they made sure he died. They didn't want the, the body. Before Jesus died, they said this man was innocent. Truly this man was innocent or truly this truly, man this is the son, son of God. God. Yeah. Son of God. So they, they already believed believed in Jesus. No, so why would they person. now? There was one person who believed of the, the commander of uh, Yeah. So the, the, so the people under the, under him, yeah. so he has an authority over other people. So now why would he like give instructions for them to kill him when he believes in Jesus? So, um, you know, uh, As an innocent think, man or a righteous person. Do you think that commander would have thought, surely he is the son of God, let him try, let me try and but Help didn't Jesus game. say there's no greater love than for a friend to lay down his life for? Now, that is what, so that this, is what Jesus did. So he as a Christian, you will be willing to sacrifice yourself in order to save Jesus. I mean, I, I sacrifice myself to save Jesus. To save, him. To save Jesus' save life. Jesus? If you were there, would you save Jesus' life Martha if you were a commander? Were there, and I don't claim to be any better than no, his say, say if you were that Roman soldier who was a, a commander and... Um, would you would you sacrifice your life in order to save save your God to save Jesus? So in that case, in that case, that Roman soldier should have been condemned, or when the authorities found out that Jesus had not died and escaped, they well, would have punished the commander, which nothing well, like Pilate, that happened. Pilate marveled that Jesus had died so soon. So even Pilate was amazed. Yeah, because um, because Jesus gave his life. No, no, no power or authority could take his life. But, Jesus but made his, his Pilate's life wife, well. Pilate's wife, told Pilate that no harm should come to this man because yeah. she's had a dream yeah. in which um, you know she says no harm should come to him. Yeah. And Pilate didn't want to go through with it. Yeah. He didn't want to crucify him, but he washes his hands of the yeah. blood of Jesus. Yeah. So um, Pilate. Pilate wasn't interested in killing Jesus, but he, nor was but his he command. To, so. But he had to give, give way to God. But if there was a way in which uh, Jesus could be arrested without the enemies knowing, then Pilate would do that instead of letting Jesus die. No, but, but he acknowledges that the Jesus died, right? Where? He, he, he's surprised that Jesus died. Where? Yeah. Yeah. And that, that so is which what means I'm he saying. doubted that Jesus no, 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 died. No, 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 it's not that Jesus Because he's surprised, so it yeah. means he's, he's out or so is not why sure. I say that Jesus laid down his life. At, at the Passover, when the Passover lamb was uh, sacrificed, that was the exact time when Jesus was sacrificed. And when Jesus died, that was when the way in the temple. According to the synoptic, Jesus was still alive because he had the Passover meal. So according to John, he died, but according to the synoptic, Jesus is still supposed to be alive because he has the Passover meal. That is the Thursday night. It's the first day of Passover, yeah. The Last Supper. So Passover meal is not just one meal. It's like a so, series of days. Yeah. So the Last Supper is the Passover meal in the Synoptic Gospels. No, no, no. Last Supper is Last Supper of Jesus with the disciples. So, not necessarily the Last Supper. Well, in Mark uh, chapter meal, twelve, the... verse thirteen, Jesus says to the disciples to go and prepare the Passover meal, and so they go and make preparation, yeah. and then Jesus has the Passover meal with the disciples. It's in, it's in Mark twelve thirteen. Yeah. So not the Passover meal is not just one. 
one meal. You know that, right? It's a series of uh, meals yeah. which happens on those seven days, I think. But it, but it, it takes or... place on the first when Passover begins. Yeah. So according to John, Jesus was dead before Passover began. No. But according to Synoptics, Jesus was still alive. So that's yeah, contradiction. That's, that's, it's not contradiction. You're not understanding. The, the Passover is not one day. It's seven days of yeah, yeah. celebration. Well, it begins after the la the Passover lamb is sacrificed. Yeah, the lamb, no, the actual meal happens after the sacrifice, yes. Yeah, the, so when the sacrifice is, Passover that meal, is yeah. The, that is the day when Jesus gave his life. And that is the day when the veil in the temple is torn. And then according to God Mark 12, that we Jesus was still alive when they were sacrificing the Passover lamb. But they, you know, I'll show you like in Mark. Yeah, so, so you know like in the Gospel of Mark, in chapter 12, uh, verse 13. Sorry, it's not Mark chapter 12. Um, just so I quickly find the... Yeah, sorry, it's, Mark, Mark, it's uh, chapter 14, uh, verse 12. Um, on the first day of the feast of the unleavened bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat uh, the Passover? Yeah. So then he sends two of his disciples and says, go into the city and, and a man will meet you carrying a jar of water yeah. and follow him and so on. And then later, that evening, um, you Jesus has right? the Passover meal. There is on a particular day, the priest uh, sacrifices yeah. the lamb. That's the 14th of Nisan. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. the 14th of Nisan okay. is the day of preparation for Passover, which so, John says so in John there 19. A, there is a day when the priests, uh, uh, you know, sacrifice the Passover lamb that is different from yeah, the so Passover 19. meals which they have on the seven days where they remember they are... Uh, you know, coming out of Egypt and so you know God. when Jesus has been interrogated by Pontius Pilate, the Jews refused to enter the court of Pilate because they hadn't yet eaten the Passover meal. So um, it's in John 18 when Jesus has been interrogated by Pilate. Um, John 18 is it? Yeah, so in verse uh, 28. Um, it was morning, and they themselves didn't enter uh, the praetorium in order not to defile, so that they could eat the Passover. Yeah. So they hadn't yet eaten the Passover. Yeah. Uh, but so, according so, to Mark so the 14, Passover that they is had the Passover there meal. Is, yeah. the, is the actual sacrifice of the priest would do for exactly. the behalf of the people yeah. of Israel. And so the Passover to, meal, yeah. which uh, Jesus is having with the, the disciples, with the disciples yeah. is a set of uh, meals where, uh, where they remember uh, the coming out of Egypt from the land of slavery and God uh, saving their firstborn because the blood was smeared on the doorpost. So you know like in uh, John chapter 19, um, verse 42, um, so they laid Jesus there because of the Jewish preparation day, for the tomb was close by. Yeah, preparation for the Sabbath. Uh, what, what, the, the day of preparation, uh, from here it says that um, it was a special Sabbath. Sabbath. Because, uh, see, when Jesus was hanging on the cross, they, they said, uh, because uh, no uh, body should be hanging on the day of Sabbath, that is why they wanted to, um, you know, make sure that bodies are off the cross. That is why they wanted to make sure that everybody is dead. That is why when they went to Jesus, they found that he was already dead and they didn't break his bones. So, uh, but the other uh, uh, criminals who were uh, crucified along with Jesus. So preparation day here is for Passover. It's not for the Sabbath. Mm. 
mm. but they prepare him for the Passover, mm. which was the, the, the next day, which begins so, at so Eve. Which, in John so chapter 19, 19 verse 13 mm. and 14. Yeah, this is this is the day when uh, Jesus was interrogated, right? Uh, um, this is the day of crucifixion. So yeah, it's, it's on the same yeah. day that he's interrogated by Pilate, which yeah. is why the Jews refused to enter. So the, yeah. the interrogation happened on the day of preparation for the Passover. The actual, yeah. And uh, the crucifixion as well happened on the same day of preparation for the Passover. Preparation for the, no, so look, the, the crucifixion Sabbath. of Jesus. The day of preparation for Passover, mm -hmm. and then he's taken to be crucified so, at Golgotha. Yeah, so the, the day of preparation was a pa uh, Passover, was a Thursday, where they would prepare the sacrifice uh, of the lamb. The next day, when in the temple, Jerusalem temple, the priest would offer the sacrifices. That That is the day when Jesus was actually crucified. And then the Sabbath would come. Yeah, so, so this so is the same the day. Same. No, so, this is a different day. So, so it says, so they took Jesus mm -hmm. and carrying the cross himself, he went out mm -hmm. to what is called the place of skull. Yeah. So this is so after the... the uh, so the Gethsemane... The, the pilot has his words mm -hmm. and the Jews say, crucify him, crucify him. Yeah. And so then they take took Jesus and, ca and Jesus carries his own cross yeah. to the place of Golgotha. Yeah. So, so, so it's, it's they, on the same they would, day. They would, they would uh, release a criminal for the Passover, right? Yeah. So the interrogation is happening on the day of preparation of the Passover. That's right. However, the crucifixion... It says it was about noon. Mm. And he said to the Jews, Behold your king. Mm. They cried out, Take no, him away, take him away, crucify him. him. And Pilate said to him, Shall I crucify your king? And the chief priest answers, we have no king but Caesar. Mm -hmm. um, then he handed him over, over to them to be crucified him. So they took Jesus carrying the cross himself and he went out to what is called the place of skull. Mm -hmm. And uh, there they crucify him with two others. And, um, so this is like, a, th there's a lot of things happening between this and this. And uh, you remember he was sent to um, Herod. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay, where is that? Maybe. maybe. So th there is a gap between that, uh, those two things, right? Which you showed the, the day of. It's not happening on the same day as, as it looks like here, right? It is. This is happening on the day of preparation for the Passover. Mm -hmm. And it was noon. Okay, yeah. So verse 14 says it was preparation yeah. for the day of Passover and it was about noon. Yeah. And he said to the Jews, Behold your king. Yeah. But in Mark chapter 14, verse 12. Um, so there is a lot of things happening between that noon and the actual crucifixion because... So on the first day of the feast on Levin, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, so Jesus is still alive on the day of preparation for Passover yeah. in Mark's Gospel. Yeah. But in John 19, Jesus is on the cross. No, on the preparation of the Passover, Jesus is still alive. That's what uh, John also says. So in, in John 14, Jesus is giving instructions mm -hmm. to the disciples to make preparation to eat the Passover. But, and then but the, the Passover, then he has the, the Last, last supper. supper, the Last Supper, which they're having, is not the sacrifice uh, So here Passover. it says the Lord's Supper. The so, Lord's Supper is the Lord's Supper. So while they were eating, he took bread and blessed it. Hmm. And said, take this, this is my body and this cup. Uh, thanks. And he said to them, this is my blood of the covenant, which um, has been shed for many. So, so you get that difference, right? So it's a Passover right? meal, because he said preparation. Yeah, so, so and I'm, I'm, the so the Passover, so 
word is not just that one meal. So why is the and then he goes to the garden and prays, the, the, and then he's arrested, the, yeah. and then handed over to yeah. Pontius Pilate eventually, and then crucified. The Passover uh, feast is celebrated for, I think, seven days. But, yeah, the, but the sacrifice happened on one particular day. It's not that they fast yeah, yeah. for the full seven days and eat on that. Yeah. They keep so so, so both, both of them say he was crucified, but Mark says he was still alive when John says he was crucified. Like, so, that, so, that's what I'm telling yeah. you. So, you know, jo John 19 mm. says Jesus is hanging on the cross, but Mark 14 says Jesus is still with his disciples, and giving them instructions to so, make preparation yeah. for Passover. Yeah. So, that, yeah, so the that, Passover ends up being his last supper, or his final meal with the disciples. And then they go to the garden of Gethsemane, and then that's where Jesus prays to the Father yeah. to take this cup away from him. Yeah. And then he's, he's arrested, like he's identified by Judas, and, and then there's they a lot take of him. other things, right? He's taken to the high priest, the Caiaphas, right. and then he's sent to back. Pilate. And then, yeah. yeah, a lot of things happened. And, uh, and then he's crucified, and I think, three o'clock. Mark says about three was it or twelve o'clock? He died about three. Three, yeah. So he's crucified um, at nine. Nine. So it's six hours, yeah. yeah. So Mark, Mark says in the morning he's crucified. Because John seems to say he's crucified in the afternoon or in the evening. Because John says it was noon uh, when he was being interrogated by Pilate. No, that was the previous day. The noon yeah. the interrogation was the so, previous so, so when does he have his final meal in John? With John, the yeah. Last Supper. That yeah. Is, yeah. So uh, the Last Supper in John is in chapter that 13. Is, that is not the... But according to the synoptics, huh? it should be somewhere pe uh, between chapter uh, like 18 or 17, somewhere between there. <laughs> Because um, in 19 he's arrested yeah. um, and he's like handed over to Pilate. Yeah. But um, in uh, in the synoptics, Jesus is still alive. Like um, he has the final meal and then he's finally arrested and then handed over yeah. to be crucified. Yeah. Um, so, so like um, Jesus already has the final meal or the Last Supper in the synoptics. Yeah. But according to you, in John, he hasn't had yet the Last Supper. Right because um, you know the day of Passover hasn't yet taken place in John. That's what I'm telling you. The Passover is not one meal. Yeah, it lasts for a week. It yeah. lasts for a week. So uh, in John, it hasn't yet begun. But in the synoptics, it's begun. So in Mark, it's already started by the time he's arrested by Pilate. So by the time Jesus is in Pilate's court, Passover has already begun in Mark. Yeah. But in John, it hasn't yet started when he's in Pilate's court. So, so, so when, when it's the preparation of the Passover meal, it could also denote the final sacrifice which the priests would do in the temple, mm -hmm. which would be considered as the, you know, the real Passover meal. So, so you know, in John 19, has the Passover but meal we begun? Can ask some Jews about how yeah, they yeah. celebrate okay. the Passover. Maybe and next what, week. Yeah, that yeah. would give a clearer idea. What what I think is, so like, if they are celebrating the Passover for seven days, it's not not that they are fasting for seven days and then they will have one meal. It would be still Passover meal every day. And every day they would remember, uh, to my knowledge, they would remember. Every day it's not Passover, but Passover is like an annual feast annual that begins feast. around about Easter time as well. It coincides with Easter, yeah, roughly. Yeah, they have their own calendar. Yeah, yeah. so um, when it comes to Passover, it's already begun, like yeah. in the Gospel of Mark. Yeah. But in John chapter 19, it hasn't yet begun. Why, why do you say that? It so like doesn't it, say that... Like, so like Passover it is. Not begun. So it's in like John chapter 19, it's the day of preparation for Passover when it's in Pilate's court. Yeah, so not necessarily yeah. it's like pre seven days. So it you see, yeah. like in those. So you seven know, in Mark chapter, so in Mark 15, 
Jesus is in Pilate's court. Yeah. But there, Jesus has already eaten the Passover meal, yeah. according to Mark. Yeah. But according to John, the Passover hasn't yet started when he's in Pilate's, when he's before Pilate. That's what I'm mentioning. It's the final. And what, what, what was referred in John to be the final, uh, you know, sacrifice, which the priests were supposed to make that sacrifice in the temple. Yeah. Yeah, that could be the preparation of uh, mention in John. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then you would have to wait for the priest to make that sacrifice before you can have the Passover meal. But according to Mark, they've already done that. No, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. It's a series of seven days, but in the final day, they would do the final Passover meal. John, what, what I believe is John is referring to the final Passover meal, which would be had after the priest would sacrifice in the temple. Right? That is why... But John is saying it's the preparation for Passover. Yeah, it is not saying it's the final day of Passover. Yeah, preparation of Passover would be that seven days period. It could be any, any in that seven days period. Uh, that is what I'm trying Let's to say. See. So John 19 verse 14. Yeah, it was preparation day for Passover. And they also, it says in 18, that they, um, in verse 28, um, that the Jews refused to enter Pilate's court um, so that they wouldn't defile themselves yeah. so that they could eat Passover. Yeah. So they haven't yet eaten the Passover meal. Uh, if they had, then they would have entered Pilate's court. So if it's been like a week, yeah. in which there's been Passover, and yeah. this is the final Passover, yeah. it means they could still enter Pilate's court because they've now eaten the Passover meal. But the, but the priest, the, the priests are making preparation for the final Passover day okay. when they would do the sacrifice. Uh, and that is where they would have that cleansing where they shouldn't be, uh, you know, um, meeting up with the body or something like that. Well, this, this is just saying that they refused to enter it because they hadn't yet entered Passover because it was a day of preparation for Passover rather than like that, that is because then me. every day would be like day of preparation for Passover so it wouldn't make sense um, if, if that's the final Passover meal then it would say like like this was the last day of Passover rather than the day of preparation. Yeah. Um, maybe you can look at uh, how the Jews actually celebrate the Passover. We should have asked Matthew because he was the tail. Yeah. Do you know, do you know, do you know Matthew? Uh, he's a practicing Jew. Okay. Um, so maybe they he has have knowledge. Good yeah. insight from what I know. Okay. Every day would be the Passover meal where they would, you know, remember their exodus from the land of Egypt and God delivering them from. Um, the spirit of death which would uh, come on any family who did not have the blood. Yeah, yeah, I understand like the Passover hadn't yet taken place, but um, John refers to the next day as being a special Sabbath. And the reason why he calls it a special Sabbath is because uh, that, that year, Passover coincided with Passover. Yeah. Um, the Sabbath coincided with Passover. Yeah. So Passover hadn't yet begun, but it was to begin with the start of the Sabbath. Yeah. So but according to Mark, they had already fine. started. For me that's fine. Because, uh, because on, uh, like the body shouldn't be left hanging on the mm. day of Sabbath. That's why they wanted to make sure that you know they die and then uh, they can. But when they came to Jesus, they recognized that he had already died and they did not break any of his bones. However, uh, uh, just to make sure that he has really died, they pierced his side. That is when, when the water and blood gushed out of his, of his side. And uh, yeah, even till the last drop. So there was no drop of uh, anything in Jesus' body. So that that's that's like the final thing. And that 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 is like.
like Just because it bad. says in John he was pierced by his side doesn't mean that historically um, that's what actually happened. John could be mentioning the spear thrust for either his own theological motives or for apologetic purposes because people were doubting the death of Jesus and so the spear thrust would be the one thing so if you're saying that would remove that John doubt. John made up the death of Jesus. For apologetic reason. No, if you're saying that. Or to make a so, theological point no, of the blood and the water. No, all that comes later. At that point, you think, why would so John... John is the only gospel John to mention the sparing on the side. And John is the last of the four gospels to be written. Yeah. So it comes very late in time. That's why uh, he, John, is the closest disciple to Jesus. He loved Jesus. He called himself the Lord of Jesus. And that. So John also says many things which the other gospels do not say. Yeah. Which so if he, he saw a Jesus, perspective yeah. of Jesus from his close, uh, closeness with Jesus. But the, yeah, if, if, John, if John said the things that uh, John says about Jesus, then you would have expected it to be in all the other Gospels as well, or emphasize as much as it's in John's Gospel. Not necessarily, like the, there are, uh, if there are four friends, one friend would give a closer perspective of one friend than the other two. So like the ap apologist is like when Jesus prays to have the cup removed from him. So in Mark, he emphatically says, uh, take this cup or remove this cup away from me. In Matthew, he says, if it be possible, take this cup away from me. But in John chapter 12, verse 27, Jesus says, um, I will not pray to be saved from the hour, but um, it is for this very reason that I've come. So not only Jesus um, says he won't pray, but the prayer where he says to take this cup away from him is absent or missing in, jo that in John. Is, that itself is a prayer because um, this is submitting the human will, human will, the supreme will. That's the struggle everyone has. Everyone in flesh has the struggle. So, uh, submitting the human flesh to the you know, superior will of the Father. So in that, Jesus had a struggle. Um, so when you say Father, so do you mean God? There, I want to understand that. When you mean Father, can, I, can you clarify that? Yeah. What do you mean when you say Father? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Jesus was praying to God. So Jesus, okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. So, so, in this human flesh, when there is a struggle between obeying the will of the Father and, you know, having the comfort which he is able to get, like if he wants to live in human flesh, he could live, he would uh, just ask his uh, Father to send a legion of angels and destroy everybody, right? But that is not the final purpose which he came for. That is where submitting his will, the human will, the will of the Father comes. But what is the will of Jesus as God, as, as the Son of God, is to no, be in God. oneness, to be in oneness with the will of the Father to which he submits. I don't know how it says in your Bible, but in, in my translation, in Mark chapter 14, uh, verse number 33, um, it says, um, he took with him Peter, James, and John, and became troubled and distressed. And then he said to them, my soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch. He advanced a little uh, and fell, fell to the ground and prayed that, it, um, if, it were possible. that, that if it were possible for all, the hour to might pass by him and said Abba Father all things are possible uh, take this cup away from me but not what I will but what you will so he prays for the hour to pass away from him yeah. in uh, Mark 35 yeah. 14 35 yeah. fell on the ground and prayed that um, if it be possible that the hour might yeah. in John 12 27 he says now my soul is troubled and what should I pray so it's to him uh, I, I just made this my final verse. Um, so, um, he says, 
Um, I am troubled now, and yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour, meaning should I pray, Father, save me from this hour? Uh, but it is for this purpose that I came to this hour. So Jesus says he will not pray for the hour to pass away, but in Mark 14, 35, he prays for the hour to pass away from him. So John has a different hour, emphasis. The, but the cup to pass away. Yeah, yeah so uh, in, in Mark 14, 35, um, I'll just show you very quickly because you have to go. Um, and, uh, so, so here it says, um, he advanced a little and fell to the ground and prayed if it were possible the hour might pass. But in John 12, he says, should I pray, Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I come. So he says he will not pray for the hour to pass. But in Mark, he does pray for the hour to pass away from him. Um, do you believe he's one person or two persons? Do you believe Jesus is one person or two persons? One Jesus. Yeah, as one person? Yeah, so if he's one person, then either he prayed for the hour to pass or he didn't pray for it to pass. So in John, he doesn't pray and he even says he would not pray to, for the hour to pass. But in Mark, he does pray for the hour to pass right. away. I will look it in, uh, okay, yeah, I, I'll, I'll think, think about it. it. Yeah. yeah, and to me, in his human nature, it is, it is yeah. like but submitting you also believe the will he's... of the flesh. Okay. Submitting the will of the flesh uh, to the will of the Father, yeah. that, that's a struggle. But he's that's one person. Yeah, yeah. He's not two persons. Yeah, yeah. So the flesh is one person. The flesh is one person. So, yeah. so for me, to do right or wrong, my tendency will be to do sin, but I have to crucify the flesh or crucify the will of the flesh. I have to say, say no to the will of the flesh and do what is right. So it is still me, one person. But in his flesh, he says, I will not pray for the hour to pass. Yeah. But in Mark, but will, he does pray. I, I will look at that. Okay. Also looking to do, you want the, do you want to write down the reference? Yes. Yeah, I, will, I know okay. the reference. Also, I have a question. For example, no, we are just is, is, the is, is Jesus all knowing? Yeah, maybe we'll speak again yeah, another time. Another time. Because your friends are waiting for you. So, okay. Cool. Thanks anyway. Yeah. What, what I would say is just trust in what Jesus said. Okay. And that would uh, reject your plan. Okay. Okay. I would ask you to, you know, well, by trusting in Jesus. When you, the the Jesus was a messenger. Jesus said, when, you, when you believe in Jesus, you yes. will have eternal life. No, we do and believe in Jesus is, uh, as a messenger. one way to eternal life, and he is Jesus Christ, the Lord. Okay. He said eternal life. We'll speak again. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay.